Give them another big round of applause. And let's make some noise. Later, we'll hear music performance from the students at Apperson Elementary School and from Salvation Army Boys and Girls Club at Franklin Square. We will also hear from the Maryland Center for Veterans Education and Training, or another word they pronounce as MACVAT, Message of Hope Prior. Each year, the Department of Public Works partners with the Department of Transportation and General Services to provide mittens, hats, gloves, and scarves Baltimore children in need. This city's annual ministry celebration started in the early 1970s with the Department of Recreation, 
as the initial sponsor of this annual uh, tradition. In this season of giving, Baltimore City workers and members of the community join together to ensure that children have basic necessities needed to fight off the winter cold. Hats, gloves, scarves, and mittens. These donations are in addition to the fundraising and employee contributions that are given each year through the United Way. This type of generosity reflects the true meanings of the holidays when we come together as a community to support one another. At this time, I'd like to invite uh, Mr. Gary Holland to come on up from DGS to uh, speak a few words. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning chilling. I got here from Target. I got some Star Wars, and I got some Cat and Jack. And I got some other good stuff in here, Hello Kitty for the ladies. So in this season of giving, I want to uh, say on behalf of Director Stephen Sharkey that we are glad that you were able to come this year. Uh, I've been working for five years in the Department of General Services, and this is my fifth event. And each year it gets better and better. I love the band, and let's have them another applause for them wherever they are. Thank you. So when I was in high school, I remember the speaker there said, if you speak too long, just say Gabagunchi. So guess what? Thank you. <laughs> Next come on up is Michelle Pujol for our transportation director. Hello, everyone. Hello. Isn't this an exciting day? Yeah. Good morning, and welcome to this uh, holiday celebration. Um, this is so important today that the spirit of giving is, is what it's all about, and we're here celebrating it today. I want to first thank Rudy Chow for hosting us, the Director of uh, Public Works, and my partners from the uh, Department of General Services, and I'm so glad that, to be here for my first time for this celebration. Uh, I also want to join in thanking the Franklin Square Salvation Army Boys and Girls Club, the, uh, the Abbott Elementary School, that you got? Abbott Stun Elementary School, got it straight, the Dunbar Jazz Band, and the MCBET Message of Hope Choir. All right, all right. So the Midden Tree is a long-standing tradition, and it's been going on since 1974. That's a long time ago, isn't it? Yeah, it's been going on a long time. And it was established to give uh, warm weather gear to those in need during this cold weather season. And so we want you to stay warm when you're out there playing in the snow and enjoying the winter. Um, we are, uh, we're here to celebrate the holiday season, the season of giving, and to really, to really focus on giving to those who may have special needs. It's through this kind of generosity that the Mitten Tree Program continues successfully every year. And I encourage everybody here to join us when we start decorating the tree. So on behalf of the Department of Transportation, who has done a lot to bring uh, gifts today, as well as others, I want to say thank you and enjoy this holiday season and the upcoming new year. Thank you, Director Mich uh, Pujol, Michelle. Uh, that's the uh, next one. Uh, I'd like to invite Miss Wendy Chavez from the Salvation Army to say a few words. Good morning. On behalf, good morning. On behalf of the Salvation Army, particularly the Franklin Square Boys and Girls Club, we would like to extend a thank you to the mayor and to those all who have been a part of this event for our invitation. Some of our kids that are here today have been coming to this very event for the last five years, and it is something that they look forward to doing each year. 
even as we go to decorate the trees, the kids are already excited about the things that they're seeing, especially the, the cartoonish um, mittens. And so they're already excited about what they might be getting. And I can't tell you enough what a great gift to give. Sometimes it is very hard uh, for our parents to get the essentials that it takes to warm our children. But through your generosity, you are helping those parents who are unable to afford that hat, mitten, or gloves. So we thank you and we ask that you just celebrate with us with a happy cheer and Merry Christmas. Thank you. Next, I'd like to invite our mayor to come up and say a few words she just got here. Yeah. Our mayor, Catherine Pugh. How's everybody doing? Hey. Look at all these good young people. How y'all doing? Good. How's school? Good. Who likes it the best? Me. All right, all right. Well, let me just say thank you all for being here. And welcome to our 44th, can you believe this? This is our 44th annual Mitten Tree Celebration. And so I want to thank the Department of Public Works, General Services, and Transportation. All of our directors are standing here with me. And I understand that the students from the Dunbar High School Jazz Band, woohoo, let's give them a big round of applause. Abbott's. Abbiston, yes. Abbiston, Woo! make some noise, Abbiston Elementary School, and students of the Salvation Army Franklin Square Boys and Girls Club. Where you are? All right. This is really an opportunity to showcase some Baltimore talent. You are. This is all about Baltimore. Also performing is the Maryland Center for Veterans. Education and Training, that's MVET, MCVET, I'll pronounce MCVET, uh, and the Message of Hope Choir. If you've not heard them, they are awesome. I've heard them, they are great. I am just so proud of the generosity of our city employees who organize, what they do is they get together, they organize this campaign year after year after year. And as I said, this is our 44th year. And so again, um, I wanna invite you all to our City Hall opening uh, house and tree lighting. This will occur on Monday, Monday night from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So y'all need to come to City Hall. Y'all ready to come to City Hall? Right out front, we're gonna be lighting up the tree. Make sure they bring you all, okay? But again, I would just wanna say thank you to the departments that come together because again, this is just another expression of love and care that our agencies have for our city. And I challenge our agencies every single day to think out of the box, to do things creatively, and more importantly, to care about the citizens of our city. I wanna thank our city council people. I see Mary Pat Clark is here. Robert I know Stokes. President um, Jack Young was here. Robert Stokes is here. And again, representative from Yitzi's office is also here. Ms. Wallace, thank you so much. All right, a lot of representatives. Let's give all those representatives a big, 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 big round of applause. I know y'all don't want me to stand here and speak all afternoon, but again, let me say thank you. Thank you to the caregivers. Thank you to the teachers. Thank you to everybody who decided to come and be a part of this as well. And more importantly, thank you to our future. That's all of you, our young people. You're the future of our city. And so our goal is to do everything we can to make sure that you are successful. Now, if anybody doesn't know the meaning of successful, how many people know what the successful means? What does successful mean? Well, you pass. That's, you want to be successful in your grade. Somebody else, give me a shout out, yes. Something good, because we want you to be good. <laughs> Anybody else want to shout it out? <laughs> yes, sir. What? Did you say being the police commissioner? 
Do the jerk. I can't hear you. Success means completing something. Yes. Next. Achieving goals. Yay! Big round of applause. Give yourselves a big round of applause because all of you all, everybody in here, has the potential to be successful. And I think what I heard in here was achieve your goals and you can be successful. Uh, make sure that you complete something that's being successful. Everything that each of you all said contributes to your success. So we want you to set goals. How many people in here are going to college? Woo, all right. How many people want to be a doctor? Lawyer, teacher, drummer, <laughs> musician, artist, sports personnel, TV cameraman, News anchor. All right, I'm just letting you all know there's some folks in here who can take your job. Not mayor, they don't want to be mayor yet. Now. How many people want to be mayor? All right, y'all got a few more years, a few more years, and you too can be the mayor. All right, give yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you all. Oh, see.